Hey, this is Adrian from Dirigo Design and Development, bringing you a useful Premiere workflow tip using some simple macros. In order to use this particular technique, you'll need a mouse or keyboard with some programmable buttons, and at least two monitors. Sorting through clips in Premiere is probably the least fun part of editing. To help get past the stage and to become a more efficient editor, I've created a macro that makes this process faster. In order for this method to be effective, we'll first need to set up the Mercury Transmit Monitor. Go ahead and go to Edit, Preferences, and then Playback. Select Enable Mercury Transmit, and then select the monitor that you want the full screen video to show up on. I also like to click the Disable Video Output box when in background. After that, we're going to set up a few new keybinds. Go ahead and go to Edit, type in Open Source Monitor, and assign a keybind to it. I used Shift-O. Next, type in Audio Wave, and you'll see under the Source Monitor panel dropdown, Audio Waveform. Go ahead and create a keyboard shortcut for this. I used Control alt o Next, search for Rename, and we'll bind this key to H. This overwrites the hand tool, but I don't use it much, and it's in a prime spot right next to the JKL keys. Now that we've made the necessary keyboard shortcuts for our macros, let's create the macros using our peripheral drivers. I'm currently using a Microsoft Sidewinder X4 keyboard and Logitech G500 mouse. While you don't need this particular hardware setup, I'll show you how I created these macros, and your process will probably be similar. So I'm going to assign the macro to this button here. I'm going to start recording the macro, and type the following sequence into the macro editor. First, hold Shift-1. This highlights the program window in Premiere. Next, press the down arrow. This will highlight the next clip in your program window. Next, I'm going to type in Shift-O and then Alt-Control-O. This opens the highlighted clip in the source monitor and displays the audio waveforms instead of video. You'll find the video instead, full screen, in the monitor you selected for Mercury Transmit. We'll call this macro Cycle Clip. Using a similar technique, we're going to create a macro that highlights a program window and then toggles the text area so that you can overwrite the clip name. So now everything should be set up how it's supposed to be. Let's go through a quick example and how I use this within my workflow. First, we're going to click on the bin that the clips are housed in. And then, using the cycle clip macro, we're going to bring up our first clip. You'll see in the left side monitor, our timeline, our program window, and our source monitor. On the right side, we'll see the Mercury Transit monitor for our video previews. Using the audio waveforms, I can tell where our talent's going to begin to speak. Using the mouse, I'll start playback here. We'll go ahead and set our in point using I, and then our out point using O. We'll insert the clip using the comma button. Once the clip is in the timeline, we're going to use our cycle clip macro again, and that's going to automatically bring up the next clip in the source monitor as audio waveforms. Let's add a little more organization to our workflow. We're going to do the same thing, but before inserting the clip into the timeline, we're going to hit our rename clip macro. We'll go ahead and rename our clip, hit enter, and then insert. Incorporating these macros into your workflow will reduce the number of times you have to click inside your program monitor and select individual clips. There are a lot of different styles of editing and shooting that will drastically change how post-production assembly is done. Hopefully you can modify these two macros to fit within your editing and your workflow. Once again, this is Adrian with Dirigo Design and Development. Feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with our channel. For more video production, marketing, and development tutorials, check us out at dirigodev.com blog.